Howdy, I'm Jacob and you're watching the Preppers Bunker Outdoors. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about mountain bikes. In a recent poll, my patrons uh, stated that they would actually rather see some entry-level mountain bike videos than my more typical content, so that's exactly what we are going to do. Now the algorithm likely won't make these videos very popular, but uh, you know, the people who watch my videos despite the algorithm want to see it, and I'll be honest, I want to talk about it. So we're going to, and I think it's going to be a good time. What we're talking about today is I am going to use my funds from Patreon to purchase an entry-level mountain bike. And I've basically came down to two things. A Marin Bobcat or... A, uh, a BMX mountain bike and previously the only option for a BMX mountain bike was an OM Duro from SE and it was kind of a bummer because I couldn't really find any competition for the bike uh, but that changes now. By the way I forgot to mention that I'm down here in this pit on the property because I'm clearing out my creek bed to make a redneck beach. Now here in Kentucky what I call a redneck beach is a creek where everybody comes together as if it were a beach. You see this very commonly here in Kentucky. So this is the creek at the bottom of my property. Um, and the water's not really running right now, but it will be running probably next week in the week or in the week following pretty heavily. So I'm gonna have a whole spot set up here for the family, probably a sunbathing bed and we'll go watch the kids and this creek will be flowing. It'll be a good time. But that is what I'm doing down here, is clearing this out. And for all the people who are gonna mention it, yes, I do wish that we were not so close to the road, but we are. It's my property where I live and this is where the creek is. So, sucks for audio quality, I know. Now, you're likely not going to find this bike by any kind of search or comparison to the OM Duro, maybe until this video, this might help that. But this bike I found completely organically, and it's the Dagon Thruster Retrograde. Now, Thruster is a retro BMX brand, and it's a off of the wing of Kent Bikes, the classic Walmart brand that we're probably all familiar with. The Thruster Retrograde is a very comparable bike to the SE OM Duro, but at a more affordable price. But why, if the price was about the same, would you want to consider a BMX mountain bike as opposed to an actual mountain bike? The mountain bike of today is not like the mountain bike of yesterday, especially with modern ge geometry like this Marin. Um, dog on it's not this tall short spindly thing that you feel like you're propped up on top of they are much longer lower slacker they feel good like bmx bikes always have and like mountain bikes did not used to however if you're not really doing aggressive descents, if you're gonna do more of a mixture of more typical trails and street riding and family riding, you might not need all that slackness. And also a, a cheap suspension fork on the front that you might want to upgrade might not even be necessary with some plus size tires. And if you don't have a suspension fork on the front, that means you don't have suspension maintenance. Ever. If all of your suspension is coming from your tires and if that is good enough for what you need to do. So a BMX mountain bike should be more playful and outside of more aggressive riding should actually be more versatile and more affordable on upkeep in the long run. And so that's why we're comparing these. The Retrograde and the OM Duro. So to start the comparison, let's start with the least important thing. Let's start with looks. Uh, the the original OM Duro in a metallic blue and yellow and chrome, in my opinion, was one of, and tan wall tires, was one of the best looking bikes ever. Regardless of price point, I absolutely love it. I think it was phenomenal. However, uh, today all that is offered from SE is a black and blue. To me, it looks a little bit cheap. Uh, it just is not a very appealing 
color combination to me. That's very subjective. So if you love it, it what I think about the colors is irrelevant. However, the thruster gives you two options, silver and red and black and red. I feel like both of them look better than the black and blue. I personally like the black and red. On the flip side, one of the differences that we'll talk later between the two is that the thruster has an aluminum frame and the SE has a chromoly frame. So the thinner wall tubing on the OM Duro, in my opinion, looks better in and of itself. It looks more old school. Looks are subjective, but with the thruster, you get more options. With the OM Duro, you get narrower tubing. Really quick, one of the things that I mentioned is that uh, the frame on the thruster is 6061 aluminum. The OM Duro is full chromoly. Now, full chromoly scent sets the benchmark for durability and longevity. Uh, it, it has a more plush feel. It vi uh, dampens vibration a little bit better than aluminum. Aluminum has the uh, propensity to be lighter weight. Now, when it comes to these two bikes, that's irrelevant. The SE is lighter weight than the thruster. And I'm guessing that if you dumped all kinds of money into both of these bikes to make them as light as possible, they'd probably still weigh pretty close to the same amount. Uh, the differences uh, between the chromoly and the aluminum frames uh, don't stop just at material construction. Uh, the cable routing is different. It, they both have internal cable routing, however, it, the OM Duro has internal cable routing for a dropper post, which is an excellent little bit of forward thinking on the part of SC, showing that they're pretty serious about getting their product on the trail. Whereas the thruster, I don't see any internal routing for a dropper post. I'm gonna break out some similarities really quick. Both bikes have 175 millimeter full chromoly cranks. They look to be exactly the same crank arms. Both bikes have a 173 millimeter European dropout with external sealed uh, bearings in the bottom bracket. Um, the forks on both, well, the SE says it's a full chromo fork. The, uh, the thruster says it's a chromoly fork. That can be a little tricky. I've reached out to thruster to talk to them, ask them if it's full chromoly or not, since they didn't specify it is possible that that is only a chromoly steer tube with high 10 fork legs, which would be inferior, a little bit heavier, quite a bit weaker. Also, they have similar bars. The thruster is a 29 inch wide bar. The OM is a 31 inch bar, but the bars on uh, the SE are full chromo. On the thruster, again, they're high 10. You can pay to upgrade to thrusters full chromo 31 inch bars, but you're paying extra for something that already comes on the SE. So, so far we've seen some cost cutting on the thruster to get a lower MSRP. That really hits them hard with the drivetrain and the brakes. Where the uh, thruster has Tektro mechanical disc brakes, the OM Duro has Tektro Auriga hydraulic brakes. Both of these brakes are extremely cheap. So either probably either of them has enough power to do what you need to do or if you need more power you're probably going to need to upgrade either of them they're both super cheap they're not worth a whole lot the uh tetro auriga uh brakes would only cost you a little over 20 bucks to upgrade however you do get an edge to braking on the om duro but where the biggest difference here in my opinion is the the drivetrain the om duro gets a sram gx 10 speed derailer and shifter whereas the thruster gets the shimano altus nine speed so the om duro should not only have a better um uh, range of gears but the sram's probably going to shift a lot better i haven't tested them but the shimano uh, altus doesn't have the best reputation for durability and it also, from what I've read, has a reputation for being loud, clunky, and dropping chains. That's a pretty big negative. If that's the case on this bike, it could be 
that being a, a, a hard tail, either one, I just got a mosquito in my fingers, either one could shift fine and be fine on range. Uh, but I definitely would prefer to have the, the SRAM GX uh, drivetrain. Now, when it comes to component quality in the drivetrain outside of the derailleur and the shifter, um, the uh, thruster has the uh, SRAM cassette. I'm hoping that the OM Duro has the SRAM GX 10 speed cassette. I'm not exactly sure from looking at the specs. But when you look at that front sprocket, it really brings to light the component quality on both bikes. It's pretty low. I'm not here to say that it's not going to be serviceable, but when you compare component quality of these bikes to a similar mountain bike, in my opinion, the component quality is much cheaper on both of them. This uh, becomes apparent when you look at the special hubs and uh, and the way that they are attached. So they're just like old school BMX bikes. On the OM Duro, you have a sealed re rear hub and an unsealed front hub. No bike at this price point should have any unsealed hubs. I don't understand why either company would have done that. The retrograde doesn't even state, so maybe they're both sealed, maybe only one sealed, who knows? Again, I reached out to them to clarify, but to use uh, to use dropouts on the frame, which the dropouts look the same to me on the back, on the frame and the forks that would accept normal modern mountain bike wheels seems to me like it would have been the far superior decision because of the aftermarket would be much larger, it'd be much easier to find parts for, but by using the 36 hub old school style BMX wheels, your aftermarket options are much more limited your sprockets look cheap. All of your finishing parts almost just look like stamped steel. So at the price point, this is kind of disappointing. The Marin would seem to offer a far superior value than either of these bikes. However, they're completely different classes of bikes. And if the BMX mountain bike class is a better bike to ride for you, then it's going to be the better option. We'll get to price here in a second, but uh, one last thing to note is the, the thruster is supposed to weigh 40 pounds, the OM Duro 38, XL 38.1 pounds. So the bikes are considered to be a little bit heavy, but to me it's pretty close to standard. When you start getting into 35 pound range, you're talking a lot of times about like a full carbon bike and stuff like that, or even low 30s. It's a lot of money for weight. So my advice to you, if you are just getting into mountain biking, uh, a lot of times heavier components are cheaper because they're easier to produce, but also because they require less quality control and potentially lower quality materials and fit and finish. So often your heavier parts are actually weaker. So there's a point of diminishing returns when you're buying quality parts. Um, so lighter's not necessarily better, however. Everybody's sitting here fighting for weight, fighting for weight. Look, the, the weight difference between a heavy bike and a relatively light, pretty expensive bike is about two dumps, okay? So you can lose more weight for free just by riding the bike, then it would cost you a thousand or two thousand dollars to lose on the bike itself. It really is going to come down to skill. So don't necessarily look for the lightest parts. It's not necessarily important. Look for the point of diminishing returns to where parts are a little bit lighter, but more importantly, they're more durable, longer lasting, they work better, etc. So with the price, the OM Duro comes in at $1,300 MSRP and it sells at $1,300. You can find it with free shipping like from Dan's Comp. So you're gonna expect to pay with tax $1,350 to $1,400 most likely. The Thruster Retrograde comes in at about $1,000 MSRP plus shipping. You can find it on eBay and other places for $1,000 shipped. So, you know, you're looking at uh, 1050 maybe 1100 maybe just over. You're saving a few hundred bucks going with the thruster. However, I don't know if it's legit, but I have seen the thruster retrograde in stock on a website at $807 shipped. Um, again, I don't know if that website's legit. I'm not going to put a link to it because I don't want to lead you guys astray and I can't assure you that it's a good website. 
although if you look for it you'll probably find it but if you can get the thruster retrograde at 800 bucks ship coming in under 900 dollars in my opinion it would be more than worth it to spend to to save the money and then upgrade as needed to get the thruster retrograde but nobody i've I, you can't find any reviews on the thruster and that's the biggest issue between choosing a from a smaller company or a more reputable company in this case se being the more reputable company part of the problem with finding information on these bikes is Although the OM Duro was originally advertised on the trail, almost nobody is riding, is riding on the trail. Very few people, um, mostly kids in the city doing wheelies. That type of review is not very applicable to me. It's fine for what they're doing, and if I wanted to be in the city doing wheelies, that would be fine. But it's, I want to be out on the trail. I want to see more trail reviews. And that's, uh, that's not very common on these bikes, but information and parts compatibility and stuff is going to be easier to find with the SE. Now, SE doesn't give a dang about me. I reached out to them. They're incredibly rude, actually, with their customer service. I wanted to review one, of course, and they just copy and pasted from their website. That doesn't matter. That's fine. I will say Thruster has been better about contacting me through their Instagram. They're better to communicate with. Neither company is going to give me a bike. So at this point, or even loan me a bike, at this point, I need to decide with your help whether I get a hardtail mountain bike or whether the BMX mountain bike would be more versatile. And also I am going to consider whether or not the entire mountain bike community and bicycling community would benefit from reviewing these bikes in a way that is uncommon because like i said these bikes are not used commonly or reviewed on the trail maybe i should be the guy to review it and find out i'll do a much quicker video talking about uh, bmx mountain bike versus mountain bike also i have more footage to share with you of myself mountain biking uh, and of my own mountain bike, I can do a bike check and stuff like that. But for now, um, you know, between the OM Duro and the Thruster Retrograde, if you're looking at the OM Duro and you're looking at that $1,300 and you haven't seen any competition, it is out there. We do have Thruster, so you do now have another thing to compare it to. Whether or not it is worth the money that you could save, I cannot yet tell you, but I'm a little bit excited to find out. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I'll have links in the description box below to how you can support this channel. Guys, if you want to see a, an entry-level mountain bike purchased, reviewed, and then given away, consider checking out my Patreon and helping make this project happen. Um, Anyways, I look forward to talking to you, and I hope that you have a blessed day.